Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well, and welcome to a brand new update on Tesla. Now, if you've been watching my previous videos on Tesla, you will remember two things. Firstly, about a month ago, I warned strongly against Tesla. Why? I mentioned to you the danger surge, and I showed you this chart. I showed you this chart on the weekly time frame, and I said this is a strong warning, essentially a massive bubble, an extreme acceleration in the price of Tesla, and we should avoid it like the plague. And of course, I showed you my targets in the second video I published, my second video about how low Tesla could go. I showed you these likely targets, about the 500 to 400 region. And guys, it gives me no pleasure to say, what am I talking about? It gives me great pleasure to say that indeed Tesla has done exactly that. It has dropped down to our first target, in fact, actually gone below that level and is now approaching potentially our second target as well. So in other words, guys, in just the last couple of weeks, Tesla has spoken. And here's the market response to the Tesla moon boys. Oh, I shouldn't have had that burrito, bro. Exactly. Tesla has just dropped a massive burrito or a Mondo Duke on top of the Tesla Moon Boys. And when I say Tesla Moon Boys, I'm specifically referring to the guys who bought here at the peak right there on the 4th of February. In case you're wondering how I know that a lot of people bought right on that date, because there are actual reports, there are independent reports that say that people bought in this region here, essentially when the price uh, surged in this region and in this region. And there was a lot of people who bought at those uh, levels. In fact, let me show you this is on Google Trends. It shows when Tesla search actually uh, peaked there. And as you can see, guys, 4th of February, there it is. 4th of February was the search on Google Trends. And essentially, guys, I can tell you, when I posted my videos, guys, let me tell you, when I posted my videos, uh, that I was expecting Tesla to drop. I got a lot of trolls just saying the most horrendous things to me, you know, saying I didn't know what I was talking about. Alessia has no clue what he's talking about. I'll show you those comments in a few minutes. But let me just play for you a very short clip of what I said in my last video. Here it is. Firstly, also notice what I have here on my chart. This is my bubble indicator. This is the indicator I developed to show me objectively that we're in a bubble or indeed that price has reached a very extreme overbought and the point of extreme acceleration, which is often what we see in a bubble. So what I think is likely to happen next, guys, is this. So I think statistically and based on the laws of probability, we could see Tesla price move back to the mean average. We could see at the minimum testing the upper band and perhaps even dropping lower to testing the middle band, the middle line, the mean average level. So anyway, guys, that's what I got. And that means this, by the way, that means that the mean average, once we test it, is going to be more likely to be below 500 in the 400 regions, guys. All right, guys, as you heard there, the warnings were there. So any Tesla moon boy or Tesla bull was going to say, well, we didn't know that this whole story and the panic in the market is going to happen. Guys, the warnings were there. And here's what they don't understand. And guys, this is actually something I've learned in my career. I want to share this with you. Anytime you see price becoming extremely expensive and anytime you see extreme acceleration in the price, like you see here in the red and the purple acceleration signals here in Tesla, this is a strong warning. You know what, guys? Be very careful because this market is about to potentially implode on itself. All right, guys, in other words, the probabilities of a drop are accelerating or increasing. So anyone who says the warnings were not there is just fooling themselves. And guys, let me tell you, those Tesla uh, moon boys are completely deluded. And guys, let me just show you some of the comments that I got from my last video so we can have a good laugh about it. Again, these are comments from trolls or just people who have no idea what they're talking about. I've actually blacked out their names because I don't want to embarrass them. This guy said to me, well, 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 850 as of now, Tesla dip is done. Up, up, up. Okay, that's interesting. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, I would recommend no one listen to this. By the way, whoever wrote that comment, let me just say this. You're right. No one should listen to you. Here's one from another person who wrote this. Uh, this is what happens when you analyze a business and its stock by quantitative measures only. This is exactly why so many traditional analysts have been wrong for years about Tesla. With disruptive technology, qualitative analysis. Well, there you go. This is what happens when you overthink things, when you try to complicate things. It's not that hard. Here's another one for you from down here. Uh, this guy says, you're using linear regression analysis and applying it to a non-linear growth stock. Mmm, la-di-da. Well, guys, he's wrong. As you can see here from my last video, regression analysis actually by far is the most reliable form of analysis. And guys, any market, doesn't matter if it's growth stock, linear, nonlinear, all of them revert back to the mean. I think there's one more here I want to show you. This guy says, you can take your drawings to the kindergarten. 
you've been talking with confidence as some kind of laws of trading are absolute. Your conclusions are only speculation using math tools to support your own theories. Nothing here is objective. Price snaps back as a magnet? LOL. Well, I want to speak to the guy who wrote that comment now. Um, how does it feel for you to be in the kindergarten today? Ooh. So guys, that has been so far a phenomenal, a phenomenal move in, uh, in Tesla. And I think it looks probable now. We could be testing potentially. I mean, we do have a potential target down here, the 50 simple moving average here on the weekly charts. Um, but even if not that, we have the 200 daily moving average, which I think is acting like a magnet now. That may be acting like a magnet for Tesla to test at some point, maybe in the next few weeks. Um, that 200 daily moving average, the green line is about 368. Potentially we might test that level, but in any case, guys, Tesla has dropped to the levels we were expecting it to. And guys, that means this, as long as we follow the laws of probability, we can also avoid the massive Mondo Dukes that the market often surprises people with and drops it on people. All right, guys, thanks very much indeed. I hope this video helps. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video update. Mondo Duke in three, two, one.